there, it's Jamie here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you this Easter Bunny design. So I'm starting off with a number 12 filbert brush which has a rounded tip, which is great for blending and laying on color. I just started right in between the eyebrows with a couple of flicks upward and then pull down to the side of the nostril and cover the nose and then placing the brush right alongside the nostril just pressed and curved out a C shape on either side to meet up with the edge of the mouth and then fill that shape in. Now I'm starting right on the outer corner of the eye, right beneath the eyebrow, and then pulling up in the wide C and then coming back around in the with, with another C in the other direction so that it so that the ear has like a peak and then comes on around. I took a, a look at a lot of real um, rabbit ears and this was a common shape. And then this is a, um, a Maxi Mop, Maxine Mop brush, uh, one half inch. And I use it a lot of times to put on eyeshadow and it, it just blends really well. So it's blending into that white there. And then just a light touch of pink on the nose. And here's a fun brush, it's called the Ridge Brush. And so it has smaller sections of brush that are longer and then in between them ones that are shorter. And it's great for mustaches and these little wispy hairs um, in any kind of animal. And you can use it later to apply the whiskers. And so I'm just Flicking toward the center point of her face in between the eyes, just flicking fur to um, create an edge there. And a little more furry here and there around the ears. And I just got this red star blends, and I've been using it as blush. Um, I'm really careful to use just the smallest amount because it's really, really highly pigmented. Okay, this is a number six round brush and um, I'm creating like a realistic bunny nose that I saw again on the photographs of actual rabbits. They just have these little slits, so I just pulled a couple slits and then pulled the line down and gave that section in the middle. But you know, if you have a way that you like to do noses better, everybody's different. Okay, so again, here's the ridge brush in action, um, making the whiskers. And if the whiskers are going up and, and to the side, it's kind of like a happy little bunny. And if you want them to go down, then it's probably a more peaceful little bunny. Okay, so here's a half of a Q-tip with metallic rose. And the other pinks that I used were, were Diamond FX pink. And here again is our number 12 filbert brush. And I'm just pulling up on the lip to make this little bunny teeth. And sprinkling everything with iridescent glitter. Again, the filbert brush with tag yellow. And this bow tie is um, great if you're doing a bunny, Easter bunny on a little boy. I thought the bow tie would make it look like a little boy bunny. And it would probably reduce the amount of pink on the ear. So the ear would be mostly white with a little pink. And, um, and the bow tie is just a circle and then two sort of triangular shapes coming in toward the circle. And then with my number six, I'm outlining in black. some little lines for the fabric and then coming in with um, another number six round with the white and adding some highlights so there's the boy the boy version the Easter Bunny and then um, and then this is a touch that you could add to embellish for a little girl and 
double loading here, we loaded our, our um, number six with white and then just the tip of it into the turquoise and you know any color you could have them choose what color flower they want and then I just did regular daisies by putting the tip down and then pressing it out in the center and then beyond that another layer and then a few more at the back and the flower and then I hit it with iridescent glitter and now I'm going in again with my number six round and just putting some by pressing down in the same way, adding some green leaves and with my tip thin, adding a little bit of swirls and little teardrops around the edge. Makes, makes it sound better. Yeah. This is the Maxine Mop Brush, which is great. It just gives a nice soft edge for doing eyeshadow. Special thanks to my lovely model. Happy Easter and have a wonderful springtime, everybody. Bye.